Hello everyone, this is Amir Tsarfati. Um, not breaking news, smashing news. Um, I'll wait for you to connect um, and I'll explain what is going on here. Again, this is the moment. Uh, the whole world has been watching and preparing for and this is it. Uh, the moment has come and a war is uh, being waged. At, as we speak right now, Vladimir Putin uh, did three things. One, he ordered his commanders to enter into the command center for a war. This is a war room. Two, Ukraine's airspace is completely closed. So obviously it's free for Russian aircrafts to do what they need to do. Three, Vladimir Putin right now, it's not even 6 a.m. Moscow time, Vladimir Putin right now is giving a speech in which he accuses NATO for crossing a red line. In, in Russian, crossing red line means a war has to start. That's how it, uh, wor uh, it works. I mean, he, he believes that uh, NATO is using Ukraine already as their territory even though Ukraine is not part of NATO. Ladies and gentlemen, again, three things. Ukrainian airspace closed completely. No aircraft is allowed in. Number two, all the Russian generals just were commanded to go into the command center. This is a bunker where they literally run a war from. It's not just an office building. Number three, Vladimir Putin is giving a live speech right now on television where he blames NATO for crossing a red line. Basically, Putin is now declaring war. Basically, um, all the preparations of the Russian army in the last couple weeks uh, around uh, the Ukraine is for this moment, for this particular moment. I don't think it's a coincidence. I don't think it's... Um, I think it was well planned, well, you know, just according to the Russian textbook. But a war is now underway. It starts, now let me explain how it works. It's not like, we, let's start shooting. No. First of all, there are major cyber attacks underway to completely um, disable all Ukrainian radars, Ukrainian systems, air defense systems, and all of that. These are happening right now as we speak. And this is exactly why civilian aircrafts are not allowed above Ukraine. Because if they would be flying right above Ukraine right now, all of their GPS systems would be going wrong. And so Ukrainian airspace is closed. No civilian airplane is allowed. And as we speak right now, Putin is giving the reason for the war in front of the cameras. All the Russian generals were ordered to go into the war bunker right now. War bunker. It's, not, it's under the ground. It's not an office building, as I said. And the first stage of the war has begun as um, major, super, super, super sophisticated cyber warfare is now being under, uh, underway. Um... All I can say is that I would not want to be a Ukrainian right now. I don't think Putin is aiming. I don't think. Oh, Hamoud. I don't think Putin is aiming only for uh, the Donetsk and Luhansk. I think Putin is aiming towards Kiev. I think it's very obvious that there are several key, key uh, towns that he wants to take, such as um, um, some port cities, um, folks. A war is uh, underway right now as we speak. This is no longer, maybe, could be, it is underway. The first stage of a war is the cyber attack, massive cyber attack right now. And again, this is exactly why, in a very unprecedented way, the Ukrainian airspace was closed. 
even our own air, airplanes, El Al planes, had to reroute um, in order not to fly above the Ukraine. All the Ukrainian airspace is completely empty, and that will allow two things. A, the cyber attack to go on, but also for the Russian Russians to have complete dominance of the skies of, of, uh, of the Ukraine. Now, um, we know that the Americans and other allies gave the, Russia, the uh, Ukrainians some Stinger missiles and also some other anti-aircraft rockets because they understood that a lot of it will come from the air. But I can tell you that uh, the Soviets uh, are not the same. This is not the Soviet army of Afghanistan of the 1980s. This is uh, something completely different. By the way, you see my little boy? He sees me for the first time in six weeks because um, it's uh, not even 5 a.m. right now. Uh, I just made it. So I'm, I'm sorry he has to be on such a dramatic uh, um, broadcast. But a war is underway right now, as I said. A war is underway. Putin is giving a speech. Um, I'll, I'll text you on Telegram the main details, but I want you to know he basically started by saying NATO crossed a red line. And for me, when a Russian president says that, that means you give me a casus belli. Casus belli means a good enough reason for a war. And so, um, again, Ukrainian airspace is closed. And again, um, um, as I said, all the Russian generals are now in the bunker, in the war room. They were ordered uh, down there by Putin. And um, again, the first phase right now is cyber, cyber attack. It will be followed by airstrikes, artillery, and then will come tanks and infantry soldiers. This is how it works in, in, in wars. I'll keep you posted on Telegram. Get Telegram Messenger and subscribe to my channel. I've got 214,000 subscribers, so it's easy to find the real channel. And I'll keep you updated as things go on. It is uh, nearly 5 a.m. right now. Nearly 5 a.m. Israel time. I'm jet lagging. I came from America, so it's, it's not too bad for me. But um, I would like to keep you posted as much as I can. So, uh, again, uh, on, on Telegram, I'll keep more of, uh, of what's going on. The, what Putin said, why, and how things are, are unfolding. Okay? Thank you. God bless you. Stay in touch on 